Shalom, brothers and sisters. Zelensky huh, admits Ukraine already ran out of ammunition. In an interview with Japanese newspaper, he candidly told these interlocutors, we do not have ammunition. For us, the situation in the East is not good. This is a major revelation for several reasons. First, it proves that Russia is winning NATO's self-declared race of logistics in the sense that its armed forces still have ammo to continue fighting while the West's Ukrainian proxies have run out of what their patrons provided over the past year. Second, the aforesaid aid that was already extended to Ukraine exceeding $100 billion that makes Russia's leading position in this race of logistics all the more impressive. Although a lot of that money, I think, went to Zelensky and his backers. The very fact that Ukraine is out of ammunition proves that the West's defeat in the self-declared race of logistics with Russia might already be a fait accompli by this point, since it's clear that Kiev can't keep pace with its opponent despite being backed by all of NATO's military industrial capacity. On the one hand, doing so could contribute to his forthcoming begging campaign, but it could also backfire if taxpayers start asking whether it's worth poning up even more money if Ukraine already ran out of ammo despite the 100 billion aid package and all of the ammunition and weapons it's been given. How much more would be needed for Kiev to reconquer its lost territory like it intends to do? It's all about the logistics. And unfortunately for everybody, the fact of the matter is Russia, China, North Korea, Iran, and all of his supporters have got tons, tons of supplies that they can keep funneling into an ongoing war. And as we've seen with Germany and other countries that have neglected the growth and the supply of their own militaries to this point, that it's too late. And America being almost 13 years behind on production of ammunition, thanks to what they've already given and are going to give, to Ukraine. So the situation does not look well, but it does play into prophecy as to who will still be standing and who is mentioned in the Bible going forward. God bless. Keep looking up. Shalom.